Hey guys, Waterfaller41 here, and we have another LED upgrade video for you. So in this video, we're gonna be installing four sets of LastFit LEDs. So I have two sets of the LT10 LEDs, and then I have two sets of the L28 millimeter uh, festoon style LEDs. So where will we be installing these? Well, if you follow my channel, you know, A, I'm a big fan of LastFit LED bulbs, and B, I already updated the LED bulbs in the dome lamp as well as the map lights up front. Now I didn't look around that part in the beginning, but I did end up noticing that I have a couple more areas in the truck that are not LED and I figured let's go ahead and pull the trigger and get those swapped out. So we have these little footwell lights, so if you look underneath, you got one there and then you got one on the passenger side. Then you got these guys. So you got that ugly orange light there. So these are where the festoons come in. That 194 or the LT10 is gonna go down there. Um, gonna do both of the mirrors. So that's that'll take care of the festoons. And then I have another set of those 194 equivalent LED bulbs that are actually gonna go in the bottom uh, glove box there. So it's really weird. The top one has an integrated LED that looks very nice in there. Let's see. Yeah, see? So you got a nice LED that's built into the whole system or built into the box. It looks nice when you pop everything open, close that, then you open this guy and it's absolutely hideous and a mess in there. So we're gonna go ahead and swap out that. So that only takes one 194 bulb. Unfortunately, you gotta buy them in packs of two. So let's get that going. So we're gonna start with the mirrors and I already kind of took a test run at the passenger side mirror here. Ooh, I already have it popped down. So essentially what you do is you use a little tiny flat jeweler screwdriver and you need to pry off these little lenses. So these little lenses go over there. You just find a little, oops, these little lenses go right over there. You find a little area to pop in the little flat head and then these pop right off. So both sides do the same. And then we're gonna come over here and swap out these as well. Again, you just take a little flat head, pry it in there and then it pops right out. Okay, now that I got the reflectors off, the next thing you're gonna do, cause of, crap. Next thing you're gonna do because those bulbs are probably pretty hot is just take a little panel tool. Yeah, hot, hot, hot out. Now the next thing you gotta do, and this is where it gets a little bit tricky. So let me get something to point. So inside each of these little light things, there's plastic uh, supports here. You need to take a razor blade and run down the side of these because you need to remove the plastic supports on each side of the festoon holder. And the reason you need to do that is the LEDs you're putting in are fatter than the halogens you took out. So you need to remove this to give this clip a little bit more room to expand so that bulb sits flush against the back and then so you can pop the, the reflector on. So again, we're just gonna take a, LED, or a, a razor blade and we're just gonna run it down the side here and then we'll take a hemostat and just twist this little piece of plastic out. And we're gonna do that on both sides here and then the festoon should pop right in and then we'll be good to go. Okay, so went ahead and removed those little plastic tabs there on each side. So now we're good to go to install the last fit LEDs. So basically all we do is just pop them in here. Now, they're really bright, especially when the lens isn't on there. So be mindful of where the tabs are at for your reflectors. On the passenger side, the wider tabs are on the inside. But on the driver's side, for whatever reason, the closer tabs are on the inside. So when you put those reflectors on, just make sure that they're, they're set up that way so you see on this side they're wider and on the inside they're lower so it basically just pops in like that and then clips in so i'm gonna go ahead and unbox these guys and get them popped in there and then we'll show you just how bright they are but you can see right here so let's turn off the dome let's do that so let's say oh i'm driving down the road and i want to check my face in the mirror whoa it is bright it is certainly bright all right there we have it. driver's side's done um, so again, just a quick run through of it. Little tiny flathead jeweler screws driver, basically the smallest one you have. Pry out those lenses. Then you need to clip the tabs on each side, the plastic tabs on each side of the festoon holder. So the festoon holder is just a clamp. There's a piece of plastic on each side of that clamp that's not gonna let you install the fatter LEDs in there. Once you clip those out, I basically use the razor blade to cut them out and then he must have to pull the plastic out. Uh, once you do that, then you pop the LED back in and then you put the lens on and then you're good. So then. When you open up your light, boom, you got some bright LEDs. So we got the mirrors done. Let's go ahead and focus on the footwell lights. Honestly, I'm not really sure how these come out. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a little exploratory visit on this guy to see what the easiest way to pop it out is. And then uh, we'll come back. All right, so I figured out how they come out. So here's the light right here. 
uh, I already took the lens off but basically what you have here is a Phillips head screwdriver that pushes into a clip and then once you undo that the light itself the hanger just kind of pops down and it hangs by the wire so one thing that oh and then you twist this guy around basically this is the little lens that goes on top of it and if you just carefully pry it up straight up out of the little holster then you should be good to go so one thing I am gonna do is since I was messing around with the mirror lights and these kept going on and off that thing is blazing hot right now so I'm gonna give it time to cool off and then I'll pull that bulb out of there but the bulb is basically right in there and then the LED will just pop right in there so while that's cooling off uh, I'm gonna go ahead to the other side actually no, can't turn it off that way while that's cooling off I'm gonna go ahead to the other side and pop out the passenger one and then let that one cool off as well and then we'll get those pulled out okay over on the passenger side this one popped out a little bit different where did that piece go ah here it is this one actually required a panel trim tool removal whereas the driver side needed a Phillips head and then this clip popped out so not sure why it's different however lens itself is the same um, maybe removing it completely like this is excessive but it actually gives you better access to the bulb because in order to get that bulb out it's helpful to have some tape ready because you got to wrap that tape around the bulb because there's, it's almost impossible to get leverage on the bulb to pull it out of there but once you get it out of there you're good to go so now the next thing you do is you just go ahead and pop in your last fit LED and then you're done so I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the lights here again and then I'll pop in the LED and then we'll come back I got the lights turned off and I just wanted to do kind of a side-by-side -side. so we have the driver side which I left as halogen for now unfortunately the lights are still hanging down there but you can see color wise it just looks dainty then you got our passenger side and it looks nice and bright and matches cleanly with everything so let's go ahead and finish up the driver's side and then we can work on that last LED in the glove box okay so got the footwell lights done this one should be pretty easy with the exception of the fact that it is kind of a pain in the butt to get to so this light is way tucked up in there um, Maybe there's a way to pull it out. I don't know. So let's go ahead and see what we can figure out. All right, good news. This actually pops out pretty easily. So the whole switch assembly itself just pops out with a plastic pry tool. So if you take your pry tool and you get underneath the lip right here and then just pull the guy out and the whole thing will pop out pretty easily. The clips are actually up at the top and the bottom. So you could maybe, if you can get underneath this way, you should be in good shape. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this guy out and then we'll put our new LED in there and then we will be done. So let's get All right, so a little dark in here right now, but let's go ahead and take a look at our lights. So we're coming up to a rebel, open a door, and we get a nice light show once we open up everything. We so we get a nice bright white LEDs down in the footwell. We get the nice dome lights or map lights lit up. We get in our ram. Close the door still got nice lights underneath there now let's go ahead and just force that off and let's say we got to get something out of our glove compartment oh i forgot to tell you guys i got red leds for that one so you could get those uh 194 equivalent leds in red and i thought that was kind of a cool touch um it looks pretty neat so the other thing i mean obviously red you retain your night vision a little bit better with it but i just thought it was kind of cool touch to uh to change that up and go with a red LED in there. We got the map lights, we got the dome lights, got the footwell lights, and I think we are completely converted over to LED. I could be completely wrong, but I think for now, we're good. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and try to find that razor blade that I used earlier because that is not something you wanna lose in your truck. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. Again, very simple install. LEDs are quality from Last Fit. I absolutely love them. This is maybe my third or fourth video using those LEDs. Um, again, they are quality LEDs. They last probably longer than the truck itself does. Um, but again, super easy. Never had an issue with them. Diodes all stay illuminated. I've used cheap ones in the past, and what happens is some of the diodes on the boards end up flickering and they go out. So just spend a little bit more money uh, above the cheaper ones up front, and you'll be much happier with the Last Fit ones. I'll leave the part numbers for everything down below, but I will say Last Fit's website is awesome as far as figuring out what LEDs you need for each of the areas in your truck. So if you wanna do the footwell, you wanna do the dome lights. I don't think they had the mirror ones listed, but those are 28 millimeter festoons. However, everything else is listed. You can even get it in the whole package or you can get the one-offs here and there like I did. 
other than that thank you very much for watching another video um i got a couple more coming at you i know i had a lot of questions on my subwoofer box that i built for the truck so i figure my next video or a video or two later i'm going to do a stereo overview since i've upgraded everything in here from the door speakers the dash speakers and then added a subwoofer in the back along with an amp so going to do that video next and then i got a differential cover on the way to complement that new sway bar i got but other than that thank you very much for watching appreciate it guys like, comment, subscribe below. Take care. Bye.